just like in our daily life in substance painter also shelves contains all the goodies so let's see what are these goodies and what are these shelves inside substance painter in lesson six so do you like my shelf now yes it's so pretty i like it it's so good i want to buy one of those in lesson six we will see what is the role of shelf in substance painter as you know whenever you import any resources it goes directly into your shelf but let's see what are these categories and why do we have inside the substance painter as you know everything that you import in the project goes inside the project just like what we did in the last class now alphas alphas are for brushes stamps and also it can be used as a height map okay then we have here grunges grunges are basically can act like a masks or an effect to create some kind of dirt uh, and damage effect wear and tear those kind of things procedural are basically procedural every time you apply you can change it and it will become random okay so it will not look tiled and it will not look something like a a computer generated it will look more natural okay so it is procedural as you can randomly uh, generate them with a completely different settings in for the most of the cases textures are basically png files jpeg files and simple images colored images so that's the textures basically uh, substance painter does not have a ready-made one except for these two okay uh, you just import them if you want to use them okay so there is one more here she noise and there are few uh, which you can get when you are uh, generating your uh, bakes okay and then if you have hard surfaces hard surfaces you will see a lot of normal mapped uh, like surfaces over here in in case if you want to create some kind of effect with a uh, engraved or height uh, effect so you can use the hard surfaces especially used for hard surfaces like we do have here a hard surface it's not used for the organic but for the hard surfaces okay then we have skin skin is widely used if you're creating any creature any human being or any cartoon also you can use the skin for like it's basically skins of uh, a creature or a human being okay so that for that purposes you have this separate skin uh part over here in the shelf then we have here filters filters are basically like in photoshop you have a lot of filters okay like effects like blur effect color correction and those things this is exactly the same thing here but for substance painter okay suppose you have blur you have blur slope you have blur uh like directional okay if you want to do motion blur or something like that okay you have uh, matte effects uh like detail uh edge wear you have a uh, triplanar okay you have ppr validation so so many things uh you have here are new which is not which are not in photoshop but they are here because it's more related to substance paint but most common one you can see over here as well you have high pass you have high to normal these things as well especially one with the checkers are uh, kind of common with uh, Photoshop in here. Okay. So you have then brushes. By name, you already know what is brushes. Brushes have different kind of brushes here. You can make your own brush also. Okay. As uh, you can uh, right click on the brush and then you can add the brush over here. Okay. So this is how you can uh, add your own brush or you can uh, work from these brushes as well. After that, we do have here particles these are some physical uh like effects okay that can act like a physical items on your screen now we have hard surfaces hard surfaces are basically used for uh hard surfaces just like what we have here you can use it for organic items like uh the like characters and stuff but usually uh they are not recommended for those these are normal maps so what you do simply is that if your brush you have selected here you just have to go down and here you have normal so the one that you are interested in okay suppose i'm uh, looking in this and i will find something maybe this sort of uh, screw 
okay so i will take this screw and i will as these are the normal surfaces normal map so i will drag this inside the normal but you have to make sure you have normal inside here uh, click because if you don't have normal clicked here you will not see it so you have to make sure you have to click normal you can scroll down to go to this options or from here you have these shortcuts you can simply click here the material and it will take you here okay it will bring you here and then you drag this drop this in this normal area okay once you will drop it you can see that it is already here now if, if you want to paint over this area so you have to make sure in your texture list the front casing as i uh, toggle this on and off you can see this is the front ca uh, casing so this should be activated otherwise if it is if it is if this is not selected if something else is selected you will not be able to paint over it for suppose if i will go to tv tube and i will start painting nothing will happen so i have to go here inside my front casing okay now once i'm here let me make it a little bigger so you can see the result so i will just click here and you can see i have this screw okay now one thing i can do at this stage is you can see there is a white color over here now if i don't want the white color i want it to be something else so what i can do is that i can change the color from here okay maybe i can change it to red color and next time it will be red but let me undo it if you don't want color at all so you can uncheck the color from here so it will just put on the material itself just like this directly however if you want it okay so you can keep it clicked. other thing is that there is a material mode here you can put any kind of material here which you can find in the material suppose if i will go here i will take aluminium drop it here okay and then it will make aluminium here but the issue is that now i will not have my uh normal map okay so i have to turn on the normal again okay and then i have to drag whatever normal i want suppose this one okay and then i will be able to add this okay just like that and let me do undo here so i can have more space i can uncheck the color so directly i can it here so this is how you can do with the material as well okay other thing is that here you have height which uh, got deselected because i was in the material mode so if i will go to the height i can change the height right now if you will see this is without a particular height over here so if i will give something a little higher and if i click so you can see it is more sharper okay so if I will increase it all the way up, so it will be more sharper. So this is how you can work with the hard surfaces. Okay. Now, uh, next to the hard surface is the skin. Okay. Now skins are basically are uh, any skin for humans or creatures. Okay. Any kind of alien creature or any kind of a green smooth uh, a creature with a green smooth uh, skin. Okay. Then we have a uh, feverish skin we have so many different kind of uh, like uh, like smart materials uh, here and normal materials as well uh, especially related to the skin okay now uh, you can paint with this by dragging and dropping in the paint resources here first let me uh, deselect this one okay press on the color and then i can drag this here okay and then I can paint and you can see it is painting the skin. Okay, so this is how you can uh, do that. Let me undo this as I don't want this result to be there. Now I, we have here filters, the next one. What is the filter? Just like in Photoshop, you have filters over here. You have blur filter if you want to blur any map that you have created. If any paint you have dropped it, every material you have it. If you want to blur it, you can use blur. You want to bevel any alpha that you have you want to glow apply glow on something if you want to apply histogram the scan or any one of these and you have special specifically uh these ones which are spe uh, specially for the substance painter okay peeling effect if you want to apply if you want to apply uh like uh matte effects and matte effects for the edges you have warp effect you have um uh, matte effects detail and those kind of things you can apply over here Okay, now 
Next, we have brushes. So right now I'm using the basic brush. Okay. So you have other artistic brushes as well here. Suppose if I want to create something like a dirt. So I can take a dirt. Okay. Uh, I will remove this skin from here. Okay. And then I can start painting here. But I have to choose the color. Okay. You have different color. Maybe blackish or grayish color. Okay. And you can see it's painting the dirt. And I can change any one of these settings here. Suppose there is no metallic here. So I can increase the metallic or I can increase the roughness. Just like what we did in the last uh, first class. Like one of our first lessons. So you, if you have not seen my first lesson, you can go to my first lesson and you can see your here. So here you can see the information eye icon, the card. Just click on the card and you will find the, uh, the link to my first lesson of sub Substance Painter. Then we have here, let me undo this so we have clear screen here. Okay. Now here we have particles. Now what are the particles? These are some physical effects. Suppose broken glass. If I want to do something like a broken glass, I can take the broken glass effect. Okay. And try to apply over here. So if I will just draw, you can see that it is creating animatingly that effect. Okay. So it works like a procedural part. So if you have a stylus pen it will work more perfectly because it works with the pressure as pressure you will apply it will give you that effect okay so that's how these uh, like particles effect will work so you have here in the details if you will see the emitter physics okay let me undo this so we can work with the physics we have uh like speed of the physics okay like a gap here so you will have less okay if i will decrease it you will have more much less if i will increase it okay those things will be a little bit oh, fuzzy okay so you have to keep it you can see the actual uh demonstration here so this kind of look like fine okay now this is the emitter emitter means my brush okay this is the receiver receiver is what this uh surface is the receiver so i can choose my emitter i can choose my receiver as well and i can play with the emitter settings and receiver settings okay so if i will increase the spawn speed so it will be faster the result will be fast okay and if i will decrease it so speed of generating this will be slow so this is what the spawn speed will do now you have fractal uh, like uh, life factor you can change this you can see the result from here you can do like so many other stuff over here okay like you can see uh we can increase this one okay so just we can see it is growing more and more and more okay and fading you can click here so if you don't want too much fade okay or if you want fade you can just uh, check with that okay then randomness, you can make it 100% random or no random. Particle speed, the speed of the particle, how it's generating. So right now it will slow. If I increase it, it will be fast. Okay. Now spawn radius, I can increase the radius. So it, uh, like from where it will generate will be bigger. If I will reduce it, so you can see the, the place from where it is generating will be smaller. So if I will do this, make a little scratch, you can see that. Now it looks kind of realistic as uh, from before. Okay. But if I will reduce this, draw, so you can see the way it is generating is smaller from here. So this is what you can uh, apply effect if you want bigger holes, okay, less holes. Okay, you can change the color, okay, these kind of things. Now, if I will apply with the height, you can see there is a height here. Okay. Now, if I will reduce the height, so the height will be inverse. So these kind of effects you can do. Okay. Then you can have metallic over here. Suppose if you want this to be shiny. Okay. Sometimes you want this uh, to be shiny. So these are like different things and you have different kind of stuff. Like you have leak. Let me do this one. So I can draw here with the uh with this okay so 
so you have leaked but i have to change this all okay to back to what it was before and then draw here now you can see that okay and then we have liquid stream something like here you can see so this is different kind of results you have and it animatically by like you know physical you can say affect it will give you just like if you will do this in reality okay so that's what uh, this is about veins also you can create some veins just like this okay very nice way to do this stuff. okay now we have here tools now inside the tools we have a lot of different kind of uh, tools simply what you need to do is that you can select any one of these like suppose i have screw bolt okay and if i will increase the size of my brush i can simply create screw bolt okay and this you can create as well this is what we imported it directly went here because it was a preset so we have this okay and we have some other like this now we have materials after the tools materials are the regular material okay like suppose we have copper if i would drag this here you can see the whole thing will become copper okay then you can do the some settings over here if there is less roughness okay you can increase more roughness or decrease or roughness it will become more uh like shiny like a mirror okay metallic you can reduce the met like metallic part over here it will become more like a plastic okay so this is how you can play with these kind of like settings after applying them and you can apply them in a layer now we have fabric rough over here then we have copper pure over here if i will go and reduce the opacity of this okay so i will have a mix of it okay oh right now i'm in the normal i have to go to wait i have to increase this i have to go in the base color now i have to reduce the opacity so now you can see behind is my pure copper so this is how uh, the materials are smart materials already you all know are basically materials with uh everything combined together different kind of materials let me delete these layers okay combined together so it so that's why it is called smart materials because whenever you drop on something it conforms correctly over it it first calculates what the surface is and then it will conform over that surface for example if i will drop it here so you can see very nicely it calculated where are the edges where are the other stuff and then it got uh you know applied on it. so this is what smart materials uh can actually do so you can apply as many you want and then you know just like what i did the last time i can go here i can reduce the opacity of this one and then or we can change the like the blending mode so you can have a different kind of result just like you do in photoshop okay let me delete these then we have smart masks smart masks basically are just like smart materials but they are the masks okay so you can use them in the mask so once we will move to the mask lessons you will uh, learn more about it then environments we have the background environment the hdr files the one that we are using right now okay just like what i have uh, explained to you in your first lessons color profiles different kind of color profiles we uh, have it so if you uh, want to use any color profile if you want to render things directly from substance painter you can do that substance painter uh, actually uses iray which is a good renderer and for the color correction you can use these for the iray okay and as i told you before you can make any kind of layer over here let me read this one as well there are two different kind of layers one is actual layer which is a normal layer on which you can paint okay whatever you want other one here is the fill layer this layer contains you cannot uh, paint over here it will give you error you can drag and drop the material over here and create your own smart materials and those kind of things you can do with this okay so i hope you have learned uh, more about the shelf in this lesson so guys please if you have not subscribed to my channel please subscribe to it and we'll meet in the next class and we will learn more about the substance painter and don't forget to click on the bell icon as well watch my videos from starting to end and take care everyone and we'll see 
uh, how we, this will grow. I hope you are learning more. So let's meet in the next class. Thank you.